just filmed my first video for Proving Potential. Whew, um, it's a totally different format to what I do on this channel. So yeah, if you haven't heard, I've started a new channel. It's based on employment related issues for both employees and organizations. And if that's something that's interested to you, i.e. you have a job, you work, you have a business, whatever, then yeah, please head over and check it out. My first topic is about how to get a pay rise. So I'm sure that one will, you know, tick some boxes. I am just going to go and film a YouTube video for this channel now, responding to Danio, who requested that I reflect on my luxury mindset. I'm not quite sure what you're getting out there, Danny, but uh, reflect I will. And then I'm going into the city to say adios to my Dior SA, who's leaving. Um, and catch up with Connor for lunch. So I thought I'd take you with me. I've also got to go to Mecca and pick up a few things. So I thought it would be a good day for a vlog. Hello, hello, hello. Nick Snell style. <laughs> um, so I filmed my video. I think it might've come across a little bit ranty. Um, perhaps it will go live before this one does. So. If it does, I will link it in a card up here and in the description box below. Uh, I just quickly edited my first video for Proving Potential. I like it. It's different for me. It's very structured. It's a very clear format. Um, and I'm hoping that helps people connect with what I'm saying and that it's helpful. So. Yeah, I'm going to be delivering content on that channel for both employees and employers. I have plenty of experience um, advocating for both sides of the employment relationship. So yeah, I want to be very balanced in my content and the topics that I address. Um, because I think as much as people who our employees think that leaders and managers and bosses only have one thing on their mind. They don't, they're humans as well. And a lot of leaders, managers and employers think that employees have only got one thing on their mind. And they don't, they're mostly good people as well. And so it's kind of just, you know, delivering some transparency around the things that um, are considered with a lot of decision making that wouldn't usually be shared in the workplace. That's kind of what I want to do to help people then come up with a plan to deliver on their own potential. Because when you understand what the other party thinks is important, you can then be more strategic and tactical about getting what you want, getting the best for you. So. That's how I think it's going to connect. Obviously, I'll refine that narrative, you know, the longer that I'm making videos and what have you, but that's where it's at. So, yeah, I'm just driving into Dior now. I am probably going to arrive just on time. I did want to get a small bunch of flowers for my essay because she is the reason that I ended up with that beautiful Dior wicker bag. So um, that would not have happened. She went over and above to get that for me. And yes, although I did thank her at the time. Now that she's leaving, she also invited me into the store to see the trunk show when it was there and I said listen I'm not going to be buying anything I've just been to the Fendi made to order event she said just come and have champagne and have a look like have a play around she's always been really approachable and we've always been really honest with each other there's not a lot that I would buy in Dior and I told her that you know I said look there's not to be honest there's not a lot that appeals to me it's not really my style but I'm happy to keep you know, popping in and seeing what's new, because obviously, you know, what happens when you say never. Uh, and it's been great, and I'm disappointed that um, Dior are unable to kind of hold on to their sales associates, at least in Brisbane at the moment. Uh, which is, you know, must be saying something for 
the organization I don't have any insider news but there's three people that I have dealt with that have all left within the space of a couple of months and that can't be a coincidence well surely there is a coincidence there is what I mean to say and it's probably not good uh, and then I'm going to have lunch with Connor so yes the key to all of this happening will be me finding a car park so wish me luck on that one okay I've got my beautiful flowers just heading down a little lane in Brisbane there's a bit of great breakfast there a bit of construction work happening and there's these little teeny doors which are really cute there's um quite a few of them hidden around but they might be behind some of these trucks i know there's a little red one somewhere i wonder i wonder where it is oh we missed it so Brisbane doesn't have the same lanes that Melbourne has, but it still has some lanes with little hidden delights. But this is um, kind of our main shopping mall. So I might just take you for a walk down to Dior. And um, give you a bit of a look. illustration. It's just not my vibe. These shoes were beautiful though. Really beautiful. Wow, Abe, you're killing me. This pink is beautiful. Let's go have a look. How beautiful is that? Well, we have some time, so we may as well go and check out Mecca. I'm not going into Zimmerman because I'm on a van. This is where we hang out in Brisbane when we go to lunch. Galaxy-ish. So, 
we're just waiting for Connor to arrive. I've ordered my sashimi and my pancake and picked up a couple of things at Mecca. I'll show you those when I get home. The yummy. Please don't cook my fish. Here's Connor. That's <laughs> my okonomiyaki. Yummy. Look at how adventurous I am. And uh, Cotter's not even using chopsticks today. <laughs> I'm not using them because I can't use them. It's a one time to learn. I don't think anyone wants to see that. <laughs> So I thought I'd finish off back in the closet. I'm just kicking off my golden goose sneakers I've worn for the first time today. And my sock kind of peeled down at the back. So there is a little bit of a rub. But um, overall for a pair of brand new all leather sneakers, um, not too bad thus far. So yeah, they get, they're very soft across here. Um, I need to relace them though. I need to, I don't like how open they look because they make my foot look really broad. So I need to figure out a way to relace them. I might just have to do it the old fashioned way, you know, where you tie a knot. Um, heaven forbid. But yes, see if I do that, I'll just show you what I mean. It looks much more slim line. It was quite wide. So anyway something to have a little play with in my spare time um i went to mecca and i did try and put a bit of footage in but it was very difficult because people kept coming and asking me if i wanted help which is great for mecca's customer service but not great for trying to vlog so i um met connor for some sushi afterward it was all wrapped up but i ripped it open and showed him So I got a refill of the Kevin Acoin Curling Mascara. Um, I did get a recommendation for the Hourglass Iconic. I don't, I don't rate it um, as highly. They're both tubular mascaras, but um, the Hourglass tends to like flake off my eyes, and it's really irritating. So I'm not going to um, buy that again. I got the Tumaford Indian Rose Lipstick. This one is the, what style is it? It's like a creamy lipstick, I think. There are a few. I don't have any Tom Ford lipsticks. Anyway, this will be the first time I've tried it on my face. I tried it on my hand and I liked it. Mmm. That's really nice. Um, so I will link that one. But yeah, Indian Rose number four. Can you see? There's too much daylight. You can't see. Um, but I wanted something that looked like my lip color, but a little bit more polished. The texture of it's really nice. It want to be for the price I paid. Um, I also got an eye palette. I've been looking for a small eye palette because my eye palettes are all quite big. Um, in the colors that pop for my eyes and because I have green eyes I've gone for the insolent rose palette and it comes in a little dust bag it's all very beautiful packaging here and then you open like that and you can see that it is pinks and purples so so I might just put the dust bag over the mirror section so we don't blind you so I'm having a good day, aren't I? Okay, so we've got a nice all over, um, all over, what am I trying to say? A base shadow, then we've got a crease, a lid and a highlighter. That is perfect. I cannot wait to try that. Um, I want the bare minimum in my eyeshadow palettes um, and I always end up hitting pan on just a couple and then I don't touch the rest. So I feel like this is going to be a really good investment. Not that I use these, but kind of impressive that each of the little 
um, included tools has a double head. So you've got the two little smudges or three smudges but one is more for your lash line I suppose and then you've got your big um, fluffy brush so that's pretty cool I don't know how long they would last for but it's a cute touch so that's where I am going to leave my little vlog today just a quick one just to take you around Brisbane hopefully um, you enjoyed the footage at Dior I was going to go to Fendi but I wasn't feeling it I felt a bit hot like I hadn't dressed appropriately for doing lots of try-ons and things um, it's actually warm today the weather is really weird at the moment so yes I will do that another day but thank you for joining me um, yeah let me know what else you'd like to see around Brisbane in a vlog because I'd love to share it with you until then, give us a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.